Good morning, Marmy. Welcome back to Mom Boss of Three. Earlier this week on Instagram, I asked you guys what kind of video you want to see this Friday, and you all voted for a Q&A. But before we get into it, if you're new to my channel, the Marmy is the Mom Army. It is a group of amazing people supporting each other through the ups and downs of parenthood. My name is Tina. I'm the Mom of Three. I hope you would consider subscribing to my channel. And when you do, hit the little bell notification and it will let you know every time I upload a new video. So I wanna to start today's video off with a huge, huge thank you to every Marmy member who joins me for every video that I put out on Instagram and Insta Stories, some live on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter and all the places. Thank you to all of you. So earlier this week, I was nominated for not one, but two Iris Awards. You guys might remember that I talked to you guys about this award in a vlog, and a video, and asked you guys to vote if you felt so inclined to, and a bunch of you did, and I got nominated for Best Parenting Vlog and for Breakthrough Creator of the Year. So I'm super excited. So I want to say a huge, huge thank you. None of this happens without any of you. I stay sane because of you guys. I feel like I have connections outside of this house because of you guys. So you guys are my support system and I'm so happy that so many of you feel that I can be that for you and other members of this community can be that for you. I'm so, so thrilled. So I just want to put out a huge thank you before we get into anything else. So now that I said that piece, let's get started with some questions. So over on Instagram, E.M. Baines asked me, what is your go-to comfort meal? So I became a vegetarian a couple years ago but regardless, as a vegetarian or not, my favorite comfort food is poutine. And if you're not from Canada, you might not know what that is. It's basically french fries covered in gravy. I use a vegetarian gravy. There's a lot of places here that have vegetarian gravy. And cheese curds. It's like the most delicious thing ever. It's probably a straight shot to a heart attack, but it's the most delicious thing you will ever eat. So I don't eat them often, but that is my ultimate go-to comfort meal. Soroya J asks, how did you tell your husband Harper you were pregnant the first time and all the subsequent times? So there's gonna be a story time video all about like the first time I was pregnant and Jorah's like birth story coming later this month. But in a nutshell, we were trying to have a baby. So it was like the excitement of, yes, we're having a baby, we're excited. It wasn't like a huge surprise. I basically called him over and as gross as it is, I like held up a pregnancy test. I was like, oh, I'm pregnant. Like with all the kids, I think that's pretty much how it went. So yeah, there was no huge story to that. Again, we were expecting it. The first time I was pregnant, I think we took a picture of the pregnancy test, which I'm sure I have here somewhere. I don't think we did that afterwards. We just were too busy caring for children every other time I was pregnant. Linda24211, also on Instagram, had a couple of questions for me, but I'm gonna find a really good one to answer. So Linda asks, if you could have coffee with anyone, who would it be? And it could be a celebrity. So I've got two here that I would really wanna have coffee with. So there's Leah Remini, and if you're like in my age category, you might remember her from King of Queens. And she's currently doing a whole like TV series and everything and very popular at the moment because of life after Scientology. But I just find her sass and my sass are the same. And I said sass, S-A-S-S, -S -S, are the same. And if we had coffee, it would just be the most sarcastic, wonderful conversation that you could ever have. Another person I would love to have coffee with is probably Mindy Kaling. I find her so funny and so smart and so just business savvy and intelligent and she's accomplished so so much so i would love to have coffee with her i think it would be amazing so nav diy art asks who is your favorite from the kardashian jenner clan so i'm going to be honest i don't follow the kardashians that closely so my favorite is chloe but i don't really know why i think i liked her approach to getting fit and healthy that's one thing um and i think because she's less like fighting for attention and going to extreme lengths to get that attention in comparison to her siblings. So Mira P27 asks, what is your favorite dessert to prepare? Now, I'm gonna stop you right there. I don't make desserts, I buy desserts. My favorite dessert to buy would probably be, like I can't just pick one. Like guys, I'm like currently on this keto diet, which is like, okay, I'm, I'm managing okay, but really I need to eat all, all the chocolate. Brownies, cookies, candies, chocolate, and cake. 
Oh, I also love creme brulee. So Nikita Beirouz asks, what is your biggest flaw? It's a good question. I think my own perceived biggest flaw is feeling self-conscious. Like I think that I don't give myself enough credit for things that go well for me. Like I always attribute those successes to other people and other things and other, you know, situations in life. Like I never say like, oh, I worked hard and so I got something I wanted or I worked hard and I was, you know, acknowledged in this way or whatever. So I think that is my biggest flaw and I need to work on it. So Jiga20 asks, what did you find most challenging about parenting? I think the most challenging part of parenting for me when I first became a parent was really getting used to this ongoing responsibility, right? Like I am always constantly responsible for these human beings and just sort of wrapping my head around the idea that there is no real free time. Like I don't think I've ever been bored since I became a parent, like never. There's never been a time where I don't have something to do. There's always something for me to do. And I think that was the biggest adjustment. Now I was a hard worker before too, but I, you know, had time to do other things that I found enjoyable, that I loved. And I'm trying to fit some more of those things in now, but I think just trying to deal with the lack of leisure time and rest has probably been the biggest challenge. So I had also asked you guys to leave your questions that you had on the community tab that I have on my channel. So on that community tab, Miss Sunshine asks if I ever dream about having a baby girl. I think I would have loved to have a baby girl. We don't really have plans to have any more kids right now, so like I never say never, but right now we don't have plans to have any more kids. And I think I'm very happy and blessed with what I have. And I think in my mind, I envisioned myself as a mom of three boys. Like I think that's what I had in my head and I feel so incredibly blessed that that's what, that's what I have. If I had had a little girl, it would have been lovely. It would have been someone to go get my nails done with, someone who was on my team in the house, like all the things. Um, so I'm not gonna say I don't dream about it, but if it happens, I would be so, so thrilled. If it had happened, I would have been so thrilled. So oh darling, 1982 is confused about the, the, the saying marmy. So I talk about the mom army and just how are we supporting each other in the ups and downs of parenthood. And so the marmy, you don't have to be a mom to be part of the marmy. The marmy is anyone who supports, you know, moms like me, my channel, watch my videos, part of our group and part of our friend circle. So, and my hope is that everyone who's part of the marmy would help people in the comments with questions or concerns they might have, whether it be about parenting or education or whatever it is. You guys have so much information and you have an ability to help other people without getting anything in return. And that is amazing. We should be helping our fellow humans and making someone feel good, even if it's by a comment or supporting someone by showing them here, I'm here and I'm listening to you and I hope things get better is an amazing thing and it's an amazing thing we can all do it doesn't take long and my hope is that the marmy will support each other in that way and i refer to parenting because i'm kind of knee deep in parenting right now so chloe l is asking would you be able to leave your boys for five nights my hubby and i have gotten an incredible gift of four nights in vegas and my parents are only too happy to take the three kids but i don't think i can leave them and would no doubt worry for the five days we are gone I live in Ireland, so it's a long way away if something happens. Okay, so it's both you and your husband going away, which is a little bit different than my situation. So I am going to LA at the beginning of next month for this conference where the Iris Awards are happening, and I'm gonna be away for my kids for three nights. I have never been away for that long. The longest I've ever been away is one night from all of them. And before that, it was only when I was giving birth to the other children that I was away. And when I leave by myself, my husband's always here. Like they're not just left. And you're in Ireland. So I have OCD and I'm a very anxious personality. So, so I would have the same concerns that you have, but I'm also one to like seize life right now, right? Like the fact that we have kids and the fact that there's a ton of things to do and the fact that our life situations change doesn't mean that we can't do all the things that we want to do. We just might have to do them differently. So. I'm gonna say, if you can wrap your head around it, if your kids are old enough, like no one's being nursed or whatever, I would say go for it. Now this is me saying it to you, I don't know if I'd be able to do it, but my advice, like my level-headed advice would be do it. Go, you have this gift. If your parents can take care of them and your parents are happy to take care of them and your kids are happy with your parents, then go. So Laura Fatima on YouTube asks, 
how do you manage the house and kids along with YouTube? And how is your experience with YouTube? So I love YouTube. I started YouTube as a way to sort of, you know, create this memory for my family and have videos of my kids when they were young. I was never good at taking pictures or any of that kind of stuff. So this made it like I have to do it. And after starting, like it just began to connect with so many amazing people that it's become a passion. Like I'm making a go of this. This is kind of like what I'm doing now. I mean, I have a whole other career, but like it's very minimal at this moment. So I'm kind of focusing everything on YouTube at this point in time. So my experience has been good. How do I manage it all? With very little sleep. So back in November or early December, actually, you guys will have noticed if you follow me regularly that I kind of left the gym. I wasn't going out that much. I kind of just had to take a step back. I was really burnt out. I was going on very little sleep. I was trying to do too much because I just want so much and I want to achieve so much and I don't want anything to stand in my way. So the fact that I have three kids or a house to manage or whatever, like those things are not going to get in my way. So I had to sort of reassess and say, like, listen, you can't do it all. You can have it all, but not at the same time. And so, you know, I left the gym. And so now I have more time to manage like the YouTube thing and manage my home and the kids and things are much better. It doesn't mean I don't want to return to exercise. I really, really do. And I want to return to, you know, being more social with my friends and stuff. And it's coming slowly. I'm trying to find a balance. So yeah, it, it has been very, very hard. So Gurpreet Tut is asking, have you ever snuck out of your house as a kid? Never. I've never snuck out of my house. I have said that I'm going somewhere, but actually went somewhere different, probably as a teenager, but I've never snuck out of the house, no. Annabelle Runga asks, are you gonna do more cooking videos? I really enjoyed Wellness Wednesdays. So I just got a spiralizer yesterday. If you follow me on Instagram, you heard all about this. So I think I am gonna do a few, you know, Wellness Wednesday things in between. And I'm also going to be doing like, you know, some random like recipe and healthy stuff like in my vlogs. You guys know I do that anyways. In terms of a specific Wellness Wednesday, I'm trying to keep Wednesdays as like a lifestyle kind of video. So it might be like a cleaning video or a cooking video or an update on, you know, my eyebrows or an update on like a diet I'm following or something new I'm trying. Um, but yeah, you, there will be some more of that stuff coming. It won't be consecutive like every single week, but you will see it. It will be in the title. So look out for it. So thank you guys so, so much for your questions. I hope you enjoyed this Q&A. If you have more questions for me, save them. Save them in your head because I will do another Q&A in the future. You can also always feel free to send me a message on Instagram. I will try my best to answer as many of them as I can. Oftentimes I will respond like in an Insta story if a bunch of people ask me the same kind of question. So follow me there, mombossa3 on Instagram if you're not already. So I hope you enjoyed today's video guys and if you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more videos and follow me on my daily vlogs. Merch on, Marmee. And thank you again for nominating me. 